gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hey family, that's right, it's a family fair over here at Dale Chanel's 48 Squirrel And welcome back to my channel I want to thank everyone for your continued support from the past, present, and the future. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, sales. Give yourselves a pat on the back for coming over here, talking out your issues, venting, and making it a family affair. And always like, share, and subscribe to my video channel, okay? We're going into a must-see video, and we're going to be going off a little bit from what the norm I do present here on my channel. You remember when I said I talk about the housewives and married to medicine, etc., etc. But we're going to be talking about Tamar Braxton and what she has done again to the LGBT community. Okay? And really how I see it, it's not just the LGBT community. It's just being a human being at its finest. Just being a female at its finest. Now, we're going to go over to Celebrity Insider because they brought this story out on behalf of R Ricky Mathers. She's out there over there pumping out stories, trying to get everybody interested in it. And I was very interested in it just from the title. And I'm going to go on and read it with you as I do all the time. I just read the title, get my synopsis going on, and then I'll read it with you, me and your family. Okay, so let's get on into it. She titled her article as Tamar Braxton Apologizes. A second time for offensive LGBT com comments. Now, I'm like, Tamar, if you apologize one time, there's no need to put highlight the spotlight back on the subject that you had to go and apologize for the first time about. Stop beating a dead horse. If you genuinely apologize for your actions or what splurted out your mouth, uh, that's enough, okay? I don't know if you messed up your endorsement deals or whatnot, but from what I'm hearing, and seeing, I ain't read it yet, but maybe you just ought to stop generalizing everything and everyone when you make statements. I think that's your biggest issue. I don't think you really meant any harm, but you didn't take any forethought on how you were putting it out there to social media. Because Lord knows you hang around just about everybody and anybody. So I can't really find that people in the LGBT community would hang with you if they felt you was this type of person on a regular, okay? So maybe you just need to just stop generalizing, putting everybody in a box like women. If this man or your man ain't doing this, that, and third, then they this. No, nah, that's not a fair statement. Hell, from me just reading a little bit or hearing on, you know, the tube or, you know, other people's channels or just in general, uh, reading magazines, you made a generalized statement saying if at all men are not doing this, then they must be gay. Now, you know that ain't true. Hell, they might be tired of their woman and they don't know how to just say, I'm tired of you. I'm really thinking about leaving. I really love you, but you know, and it could be on the flip side with a woman feeling the same thing. She don't want to touch her man. She's tired of her man. She don't know where all this stuff is coming from and she just needs space. It could not even be that they want to be with a same sex person. It could just be, hey, they just tired of that person. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And they honestly try to make the exit less excruciating, meaning painful, as possible. Or hell, they could be going through some personal traumatic things that they just haven't let you know about. Okay, it may not. Or hell, they might be sexual dysfunctional at the time, and they just don't know how to tell you. But let's get on into this article. This is my sidebar, and hopefully I'm coming close to the realization of what the article is speaking about. If not, I have to backtrack. You know, I can do that at times as well. But it goes there to say, Tamar Braxton speaks her mind at all times, which has landed her in hot water again and again. The singer just apologized for the second time for some controversial comments that she made. Okay. In an Instagram post, see, I tell you that Instagram gets y'all in trouble. Y'all get them Twitter fingers going or them keyboard gangster fingers going. And then you throw out pictures and audio. And then you got to backtrack sometimes. Sometimes it's just like, just come on live, 
say if this is happening to you all, I'm sorry that it's happened to you all, but this is my opinion. But don't generalize lies. Uh, generalize now. Don't do that. Just put your opinion in it and how you've come to that reasoning and that logic that you're uh, putting out there in the social media way. You should know this by now, Tamar. You don't be on so many uh, talk. Well, you've been on one definitely talk show, uh, The Real, where you were out there discussing daily trending topics. And then you've been on your family show, The Braxton's Family Values. So you should know your etiquette should be on point by now or what to say in public, what not to say in public. I'm surprised that you take my book. But yeah, okay, learning curve for you. I guess hey, when you get in your 50s, you should know better. And nobody should be taking up for Tamar because she has been in the business, the industry, entertainment industry for a very long time. And when she don't hit her 50s, there's no excuse. There's just no excuse. This is piss poor of a person. That's pretty much it. Because in your 50s, if you ain't learned, that's half of a century. If you ain't learned to act right by then, you ain't going to act right. You're just going to go on and slide down into your 60s, 70s, 80s. Just a terrible person. Okay. Well, okay. That was my sidebar again. Let's go back to the article. It said in an Instagram post that she made clear, wasn't referencing her current boyfriend, David Adifiso. Tamar stated that if a man doesn't want to sleep with his female significant other for multiple days, it's because he is gay. <laughs> now, you know, Tamar. Oh, Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. She's just one track minded. I hate, I hate to say, but everything is just like she spits whatever thought comes to her mind, she just spits it out there for everybody to digest. But apparently, we don't get down with Tamar. We have a lot of, you know, people out there that deduct reasoning, find logic, and then say, you full of crap or not. Okay? Or whoever want to go and rebuttal her. I don't really take the time. I just be like, po tay tay po tay tay But anyway, this is what she's saying. Going back to the article, it says, the truth is, ladies, that these dudes out here really do be gay. Now, Tamar, that's your truth, baby. <laughs> so like I said, when you get in your 50s and people, you may start in your 40s. You have your body break down, especially if you're not one of them people that like to exercise, that love to eat right 24-7, love to exercise right 24-7, love to um. Drink all that good tasting water. You know, hey, if you like me and like to partake in all the favorite food choices that are bad for you the majority of the time, you, your body going to tear down. It's going to not have that energy. It's just not going to have that oomph or what you need. You know, you barely can sit up there and have a good 15 minutes worth of sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you get tired, you're like, oh, let me go take a bath and go to sleep. Thank you, baby. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You just don't have the energy. Or if your mentality is off, like you're worried about paying bills, or you're worried about maybe some health issues or a family member, you don't always be into it. Now, I'm talking about the people in their fitness. They can definitely uh, understand where I'm coming from, you know, unless you're living a very healthy lifestyle or whatever, and you don't get st stressed, don't get you occupied and make you feel some kind of way. I ain't talking about them folks, I'm talking about a select group of people. That, you know, truly try to live life the way it is, where it's brought to them. They try to make ends meet. And you hell, you sometimes it ain't about it. how they say, without the finance, there's no romance. That's some truth to that song. If you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, where you are making ends meet, and then you got a little left over to say, so we can go, you know, take a trip here, there, even if it ain't number for the weekend. And it could be just like to the next connected state, or hell, it could be in the next county. If stuff ain't going right, you don't want to be lovey-dovey. You don't want a sexual partner. Hell, yeah, you don't want to be left alone. But again, that's my long sidebar. Let me get back to the article. She goes in to say that um, the truth is, lady, that these dudes out here really do be gay. It ain't enough money, beauty, hair, babies in the world to keep them. They want uh, D, meaning I guess she mean it. Put it together. D, it, what you get. Okay. Uh, period. It's nothing wrong with you, but they will find every reason in the world to make you not good enough. If he lays with you for three, four, ten days and he don't touch you, it's not you. He want a man. And that's on my mama. Now see, Tamar, again, you putting salt on your mama and she ain't even coming like that. She ain't teach you that either. I know Miss L don't flow that way. So I don't even know why you put your mama name in there, girl. Now I ain't gonna say what she ain't saying. Ain't true, but I'm saying 
it's a generalized statement and you shouldn't put every male or if you had to flip it and put every female in there because that's just not true. Okay, we're going back to the article. It says almost immediately she came on the fire by the LGBT community who pointed out why her state statements were so problematic. Some even insinu insinuated that she must be speaking from her relationship issues with her Wall Street boyfriend. Now, that's a good insight there. Whoever spoke that truth in, uh, she may be and just putting him out on blast. But we don't know. We're just assuming from her demeanor and what she's given us. Every, everybody's assumption may not be true. OK, everybody logically logic and reasoning and deducting to form an opinion, a logical produced factual opinion you know it, sometimes it's all mixed up in speculations okay unless you have true hard facts that this person is this way and he suggested that this is this way you can't you can't say it you, you just can't say it, or you'll more than likely be wrong but anyway going back to it it says after her name started trending for all the wrong reasons tamar apologized and then stated that she has been a supporter of the lgbt community since she was in the fourth grade but we'll continue to speak her truth. Well, then, Tamar, if that is so true, why apologize? If that is your said truth, you're standing on your truth, this is your belief, then there was no need to apologize. So, see, you, you're double-minded, Tamar. You, you, you're trying to be on two different platforms, two different uh, uh, two, two different sides, and you're yet not coming to being genuine. You see what I'm saying, Tamar? If you don't, think about it. Sleep on it and then come back to that rational, rational, uh, rationalization that I'm making. Okay. But anyway, going back to it, uh, the article that is, it says, while chatting with fans on Twitter, Tamar retweeted and responded to a fan that wrote, maybe it's not what you wrote, but how you wrote it. I think nowadays everyone takes things to heart so quick and don't have a clue who you're talking about. Everyone assumes about everything. The singer added, I agree, saying that. All were wasn't right because I don't believe it. It was irresponsible and insensitive. And again, for all those who were offended, I'm truly sorry. I meant no harm. I love and stand with the LGBT community now and forever. I will be careful of my words, but my heart is pure. But like I said to my, Tamar, it's not really all about the LGBT community. It's about how you feel in general about men, whether they're straight, they're gay, they're bisexual. You just group all men. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the issue I find that you would group every man that you know on this planet Earth to a situ situation like that. If they're in a same sex relationship, you're saying if your man don't touch you and you're a man, y'all in this partnership type of relationship, he cheating on you with a woman. <laughs> I'm like, or it may be with the same sex. It, I'm like, come on, Tamar. Come on, baby. Stop that. But anyway, the final Parts of this uh, commentary says, do you think Tamar is being genuine? And for me, just me reading it and, and putting my sidebar in it. No, I don't think Tamar is genuine because I don't think I think Tamar is just confused. <laughs> I really do. She want to be politically correct. But then when she makes a statement, she wants to backtrack on it. I mean, if that's what you feel, that's what you feel. You know, stand in your shit. Stand up for what you believe in. If that's your truth, you believe all men are that way. They're like some people say all men are dogs. All men cheat. You know, it's the same old, same old, same old. When you generalize and you put it all in everything without doing or, or, or taking account and doing a poll on every last man that's in this world, you won't come up with that. It'll be always a fallible type of research and uh decision you have come to assume so my thing is Tamar 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 maybe you maybe you're doing this to be trending too to keep um us or keep us talking about you so you can stay relevant I just don't know where you're coming from because to me you're not that dense you're not that uneducated and technically if I was gay and I would have to question our friendship or what you really feel about just uh, gayness period you know are you um, are you hanging around me because you want to be seen with me because I'm gay or if I'm heterosexual and you're gay are you being seen with me because you want people to accept you in a heterosexual community I mean it's just like okay do you have all these gay friends because you really like being around them or you like what they bring to you 
what they can teach you, how they can show you things, and then you take it and try to use it in the heterosexual world. I mean, I, I'm just thinking all across the board, Tamar. That's all I'm saying, because... We all know you're going to be controversial all the time. You're going to be on 10, 15, 1,000 all the time. And it's not going to always be pretty. Half the time it is going to be negative because, you know, you're the baby of the family and you feel like you need to be heard however you put yourself out there. And sometimes you just need to fall back because you do have a child in this world and this child is growing up and watching you on a daily basis, how you say things, how you present yourself in public and not in public. And, you know, to me, I think that man driving you crazy, Tamar. Is that man driving you crazy? Because <laughs> you ain't had nobody since Vince for a long time. And this, I mean, you've been changing your hair color. You've been in blonde all the time. And I'm like... Girl, is he driving you crazy, making you senseless? That's what I want to know, Tamar. Put a blog out there on yourself. How happy are you with this man, okay? Is he going to be your man forever, forever, ever, forever, ever? Honey, is he going to be your husband? Or are you going to be like Cynthia Bailey over there? You need to marry me. You need to marry me. We need to get married. I ain't getting I ain't getting younger. I'm getting older. I need a companion. I need a man. I need a husband. Are you, are you on that man like that, Tamar? Oh, okay. I don't think I can see that's enough of this video. It's Tamar hey, Love Yourself. Women, uh, women who love men, women who love women, men who love men, men who love women. Love yourself first. Love yourself. Okay? Because that's all it's about. You can't make your own self happy. Hell, you ain't going to make nobody else happy. Okay? But that's all I got. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Miss Tamar. Was she just being overboard? Was she just getting on overboard? Or is this is the daily thing we should always suspect from Tamar? And whether she apologizes or not, it's just who she are. You either love her or hate her or just be indifferent with her. <laughs> But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about the subject matter. Speak your mind on what you felt Tamar really meant. Or should she said it a little different and not generalize the whole male thing in one capsule of a topic. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got. Peace and blessings to you all. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. I know I ain't